Real quickly, for anyone who might be new, when I tell people to obey God through me, I'm not Elliot Rogers. I'm not your average dime a dozen preacher or priest. I'm not in a super church. I'm not in a secret society. I'm not using wordplay. You know, I'm defining wordplay for you, but I'm not using secret codes. I'm the son of the most moral brain surgeon that ever lived. And during a racist time in Detroit's history when they're having race riots and things like that, he, as an African who came here homeless, penniless, worked his way up, okay, went through medical school, so on and so forth, married a white woman, okay, in one of the most racist periods of history in this country's history in terms of race riots, and one of the most racist regions at the time, Detroit. I'm the top martial artist in human history, the top martial artist ever possible. Look at evolution. You think a, a caveman could outmaneuver me? You think a primitive African or Asian or white person? No. If we look at the history of Kung Fu and Taekwondo and all these things, it doesn't go that far back. And we look at the evolution of these people. You think a primitive samurai could beat me in single combat? They could not. I'm from the martial art line of the entire human race, the natural alpha, one race, one humanity, human race, human race, one race, human. And it's through righteousness and justice and moral precision and living reality, not doing religious uh, kind of psychology cult games as various uh, cultures all over the world, but reality, okay? Subdue the other Igbos in the tribe to be the royal line. And then my great-grandfather said to his servant, he said, you, okay? His servant married his daughter. And damn near miraculously, my dad became a very strong, tall guy. It almost doesn't make sense. His father maybe 5'7", five, 5'8", five, my dad 6'4", over 200 pounds, all muscle, cutting into people's heads. The spirit went into him in a way that is un... There's nothing can compare to it. There's no other way to explain my birth or even his except for miraculous. And I am the last possible. It was the spirit of righteousness and dedication to God that expressed itself in a warrior spirit that created me. Everyone else is just a human doing what the New World Order says or doing what their pea brain says. Well, I'm the son of God with all due respect. And I assure you at this point, except for my parents, none is due. You are in rebellion. I hear what your actions are telling me, what your hearts are telling me as I weigh them when I observe your behaviors, groups, spirits, nations, cultures, etc. And they are telling me that you don't have a speck of respect for God. Because if you could even wrap around your, your mind even a little bit about around the situation, there's no way you could find it in your hearts to betray God. There's no way you could encourage attractive women to shun me. There's no way that they would tease me with their very presence when I'm the most romantic person possible in human existence. There's no way they could bring themselves to do anything but to run, not walk, to obey God through me. When they don't, they don't respect God at all. I hear what the people are telling me. And the verdict is sound. The punishments that you people are facing in the afterlife cannot be compared to anything that you know. At this point, I've been taking somewhat of Italian estimating how much that punishment is. It is far more than you or I can imagine. Okay? It increases. It's like a number with so many zeros you can't picture into your head. You're headed for trouble. The penalty for betraying the top martial arts ever, God's son, the most righteous guy ever, the penalty for being in cultures that are generational rape cult, neo-colonialist trash cultures is far worse than you think. And as you sit there every day knowing their technology increases every moment, there's no words for how negligent you are in being men and women. You're not being men, you're not being women, you're, 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 you're neglecting that instead. Put yourself in my shoes Know that it doesn't matter if you can or not. I'm going to do what's right. What would the righteous man to you do with you people and your offspring as you're making a calculated theft of the planet in the most despicable and evil way possible? Pedophilia, mass starvation, mass rape, mass exploitation, mass drugging. What kind of life forms are you? We see in nature, animals have honed their training and their hunting skills to attack. Are you not being forged to be spiritually attacked for eternity by the top martial artist and the, what you might call, angels in the afterlife, the legions of the Lord, the angles, the spirits, the essences? Is that not what's going on here? 
when lightning strikes the ground, when the sun scorches the earth, is there not a communication there? Do you think that your pathetic technological direction is greater than the forces of nature and the source of justice? Then why do you challenge me with your rebellion? Because to rebel against my lead is to challenge God and I and our agenda for your souls.